Happy Sunday, guys. <clears throat> Sunday morning for me, but by the time you guys see this, it'll be Sunday afternoon, but it's about 7.30, but I got to get started here. <clears throat> this will probably be one of my most controversial videos ever. <laughs> Why? Because God knows there's going to be a bunch of people that say, you can't do that, or you need to do this, or whatever it would be. And I get it, okay? This is something that is very personal to people, and that is their chili recipe. <clears throat> now, a lot of you guys have asked me for my chili recipe, how to can it, and everything like that. So, please understand, this is my recipe, okay? Me being the Midwestern guy, you'll get it real quick. Now, I'll give you a little bit. <clears throat> chili is a American food. It was invented, created in Texas. So first off, I want to tell everybody, chili is not Mexican food. Chili is specifically Texan food. True, I mean, it came over, what, in the late 1700s, I think, from the Canary Islands, was immigrants from the Canary Islands brought chili over to the U.S. and or over to Texas and started making it. And at the time, it was very simple. It was meat, primarily venison at that point, <clears throat> onions, peppers, and spices. That was it. That's still your bowl of Texas red, okay? Uh, there's not a whole lot of other stuff in it. But over the course of 250 some odd years, people have changed chili recipes, okay? You know, look at, if you've ever been to Cincinnati, <clears throat> folks in Cincinnati, uh, almost it's, was it Starline chili? I forget when I lived up there. Uh, they put cinnamon in their chili. It's huge there. Personally, I'm not a fan, but, uh, you know, there's all sorts of different things that go in people's chili, which is cool, right? You know, it's something that you make what you like. Vegetarians have, you know, changed it up. There's tofu chili, and some people put noodles in their chili. Chili mac, okay? Uh, don't do that when you're canning it. Macaroni does not can well. You end up with mush. Uh, but yeah, for preppers it would be. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you my chili recipe. And primarily it comes out of the garden. Now, if you think about why chili is a good prepper food, think about why the cowboys ate it. They used to make, uh, the cooks used to make Chili bricks is what they were called. They basically dehydrate the whole thing down into a brick. And then it could be reconstituted in water as they were out on a cattle drive or something like that. So, I mean, put the spices, the meat, and everything like that together and just bake it down into a brick. Worked out well. <clears throat> well, we don't have to do that, hopefully. So I wanted to show you how I make my chili. Now, I'm going to make 14 quarts of chili, and I'm going to can all this. So that's what this recipe is, to make 14 quarts. If you don't want to make that much, it's real simple to break this recipe down. I call it my 510 chili because basically anything, is, the ingredients are either 5 or 10. Now you can make this out of your garden, which is what I'm going to do, or you can make it all with canned stuff. That works fine. So I'll kind of explain what the ingredients are here first. So let's over. All right. So we'll start here. Corn. Ten ears of corn. Okay, that's I just picked that this morning. Or you can use five cans of corn, juice and all. Uh, we will go into the center and jalapenos. Again, can be whatever you want. Uh, how spicy you want. You want to use poblano peppers. You want to use ghost peppers, poblanos, whatever. Or if you don't want spice at all, you can do it with green peppers. Uh, there's, oh, probably about 15 or so peppers there, maybe 20. Uh, but what I'm looking for is about a cup of chopped peppers, maybe a cup and a half. Uh, one head of garlic for what I'm going to use. Uh, in the back, I've got a bunch of tomatoes I just picked. Uh, what you're looking for there is five quarts of tomatoes, five quarts of diced tomatoes. Uh, so that would be about... 10 cans if you want to use cans of tomatoes. Five onions, 
five packs of chili seasoning mix. I use the mild mix because I make it with jalapenos. Your spices come from your peppers or whatever it is. If you want to use the medium mix, you want to use the hot mix, depending on what you like. Ten cans of black beans. Okay, I have cans of black beans this year, not grown black beans. So that's what I'm using. So mine's a combination of my garden and canned stuff. I'm going to use five pounds of ground chuck for this. Uh, I've made it before with chicken. I've made it before with turkey. I've made it before with venison. You know, this is one thing about chili. It's a way to make your meat stretch. So that's good. You know, could you probably make it with squirrel or rabbit or anything like that? Sure. I've never tried it with pork, but even then. And finally, as you'll see there in front, a can of beer. Uh, you would use uh, about five cans of beer. It's totally optional. It will bring out the flavors. You can just use water at the end. But there's the ingredients if you want to make it. You want to make dinner, divide everything I just showed you by five, and that will make you <clears throat> about two and a half quarts or probably somewhere right around three servings. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get the ball rolling here. <clears throat> First thing I need to do is bake up all my tomatoes. I showed you guys this on the uh, peppers video the other day, but you want to skin your tomatoes, put a slice in the bottom, real simple. Drop it in a pot of boiling water, and we're going to leave that there for, say, about 30 seconds. Well, that's doing that, I'll show you this. What I use just to make it easy it's a mason jar. Once I fill that five times, I have five quarts. Okay, so we'll let this do its thing. It's already set, start to peel. Take my tomato, use a spoon, drop it in ice cold water, and now my skin peels off nice and easy. And I have a skinned tomato. I'm going to slice this up just in chunks. You know, they're about an inch, whatever it would be. Like I said, if you leave it in there short, <clears throat> it stays pretty firm. For the chili, at least for mine, I want to keep all the seeds. I want all that juice, right? Get rid of my stem piece. And so I am starting to fill my jar. So I got about an hour of doing this to get all my tomatoes, but let me do that and I'll be back and show you where we go next. All right, done, done with tomatoes. So next step <clears throat> is corn. And like I said before, if you don't have your own sweet corn or whatever it is, you can easily use cans, not a big deal there. Uh, but oh, this one's actually small. Okay. All right, such as so. But hence this year's sweet corn. So, all I'm going to do with this is, as I tip us down, just clean kernels off. And I'm going to do all 10 ears of corn. We'll put that in the pot. All right, <clears throat> corn's done. <clears throat> Next step, peppers, whatever ones you want, okay? Like I said earlier, I'm gonna do jalapenos. So if I get that set up, you know, real simple. Let me get this split. And I'm just going to clean it. Rinse them all out, because I don't want the seeds. Some people do. But I'm just going to dice up jalapenos. And again, I want about a cup of jalapenos here for what turns out to be about four gallons thereabouts. So let me chop all those up and we'll go on to the next step. All right, peppers chopped, they're in the pot. <clears throat> Word to the wise, guys. If you got to go to the bathroom when you're cutting peppers, make sure you wash your hands really good. <laughs> 
Just telling you. Okay, next thing, onions. I want to slice these into decent sized chunks. Uh, I don't want pureed chili. I want chunky chili. So I'm kind of going along the lines like this. Okay. So half inch squares, whatever it would be. Five onions. Cut those up. <clears throat> I got almost all the vegetable cuttings done because I haven't had this for two hours. All right. Moving on. All right. <clears throat> Next step. Garlic. So, real simple. Oop, there were two there. There we go. Get your garlic peeled, and if it wants to peel, there we go. Yeah, if you don't, you grow your own garlic, guys. Do it. Uh, then, if you got one of these, great. If not, just dice it up. But. <clears throat> Garlic press, real nice little tool to have. So, whole head of garlic, guys. I know you're thinking, well, it's a lot of garlic. You're making four or five gallons of chili here. So, all right, let me get that done, and then we get into the controversy. All right, vegetable chopping is done. Thank God. <clears throat> so now we get into this one. And any true Texan, where chili was invented, will tell you there's no beans in chili, right? Totally respect that. I just kind of look at it like baseball, okay? For years and years and years, National League had baseball. American League comes around, and what did they do? They improved on the game. Designated hitter. Guess what? There you go. Yep. Beans go in the chili. Juice and all. You want that flavor. As much as... Texans will tell you, oh, the beans will tell it, take over the flavor. Nah, <laughs> it still tastes like chili to me. And as a prepper food, my guess is you're probably not going to have a whole ton of meat in a long-term SHTF situation. Protein source, okay. Sorry, Texas, as much as I love you, get over it. A lot of us like beans in our chili. Moving right along. Okay. Now, yes, in case you didn't notice, I use black beans in my chili. I just think they have a lot better flavor than kidney beans or pinto beans or anything. So before I go on anywhere from here, the next thing I want to do is I want to mix all this together because the next thing we're going to do is add the meat and you want those vegetables to be kind of blended already. All right. So now we're getting somewhere. We've got Everything kind of blended up. You can see the juice from the beans, from the tomatoes. You want to have all that in there. So the next thing I want to do is brown five pounds of ground beef and add it to this. All right, so now I've added the ground beef. Now you need to brown this ahead of time uh, to put it in. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with a jar full of meatloaf in there. So you don't want it cooking in the when you're canning this. Uh, the one thing I did fail, fail to mention before I did this is make sure you drain off as much of the grease as possible. Uh, you don't want to have a real greasy chili when you're canning it. So the next step is to add this stuff, chili seasoning mix. And this is just grocery store brand. You can, I mean, if you want to add the chili powder and paprika and onion, uh, onion, onion powder and garlic and every garlic powder yourself go for it but at 50 cents a bag bag i've got a boatload of these in my preps so i'm going to add those so we want to add five bags because we have five pounds of meat so let me do that all right so now the chili powder or chili mix is added there but as you can see it's starting to look like chili but we need to get this warm and we need some juice in there. So this is where you would add water or beer. If you want to add beer, uh, you can really have some fun with some flavor, flavor profiles. You know, putting in a Pilsner, putting in a lager, putting in a stout, whatever it would be. Uh, but what you want to do here, and it doesn't have to be all beer. It can be half beer, half water, which is usually what I do. Uh, but you want to get 
the liquid above the solids in here. And then once we do that, we are going to simmer this until it gets warm because we don't want to be putting cold product into warm jars into a boiling hot canner. So that's where we go next. All right. So I'm going to do this part of the video just because some people have asked their new canners and not that I am any professional canner, okay? But if there's one thing that I think I can say I am <clears throat> very qualified to do, it's can chili because <laughs> I've done this countless times. All right, so quart jars. And now that my chili has simmered up real nice, flavors have blended, I'm just going to fill my jars. I'm going to scoop a little. I want some from, I want some of the juice and I want definitely the contents. Top it off with a little bit of juice and I want that one inch head space. Okay. So we'll get there. Now, as per normal, like everything else that you do in canning, even though there's a lot of liquid in here, you still want to debubble, get this down because you've got a lot of chunks in there. Get that in there. So, there was that part. Wet paper towel, wet whatever with some vinegar because you've got spices in there. Who knows what you got? Wipe that ring off, that, or I'm sorry, that rim off very well. Lid and can, or lid and lid, lid and ring, finger tight, and into the canning jar it goes. Now, typical when you're canning, you know, get your water to a boil. This is now hot, okay? And so you won't break your jars. Let your canner vent, do what it needs, 10 minutes of venting, and you're going to can this, pressure can this, gotta pressure can it because there's meat in it, for 90 minutes, okay? Now, whatever the pressure you need at your elevation, most of us are 10 pounds, but you're gonna have to figure that part out where you are. Don't ask me, because I'm not gonna be able to help you on that one. I'm Like I said, I'm not the pro. I can get seven in my canner, so I'm gonna do the other six and get these canned, and then you guys can see what the result looks like. All right, guys. And there is the end result. No, those aren't the ones we just made. Those are the ones I made a couple of days ago. Those are 14 quarts, but basically exactly the same thing. That's what I'll have here in a few hours. I just didn't figure you had to wait till the whole canning process was done. So there is 510 Chili by Pinball. So, all right, Texans. Let me have it, because I know you guys are going to give me all sorts of crap. <laughs> but like I said earlier, you know, chili is one of those things that has a million recipes. You make it the way you like it. But a lot of you guys asked me what my recipe was. So, hence, there you go. That's my recipe. Never had any complaints yet. <laughs> we'll see. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Pitbull out.